Okay, so we're gonna walk into our garden here and just look at a couple things as we're going. Oh, those daffodils. And I also have a, we don't know what that is, flower, it's beautiful, that pink flower there. Got a couple of them. Really pretty, not sure what those are. But those are looking good. Uh, some of my roses are coming back there. My roses and my sedum starting to wake up. A lot of stuff going on over here. My bee balm's waking up. And we'll continue on. Look at my garlic. My garlic. Wonderful little guys of garlic. <clears throat> And these are bachelor buttons. They're about ready to be transplanted. I'm gonna probably up-pot them until they get a little bit bigger and then uh, figure out where to put them in their forever home. Onward we go to our surprise. I know, isn't the uh, suspense just intense? Okay, so we're almost there. Now I don't want you to laugh because the surprise looks kind of unique we'll just call it but this was really just something that my husband did for me he put his heart into it his ingenuity into it and so i want you guys to take it for what it is not necessarily what you might think it is so here's our surprise so this weird looking thing is my new garden shed so it looks kind of funky but um, it's made out of all recycled repurposed materials if you're in, uh, been watching my channel for a while uh, watching my Facebook page you know that we are heavily 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 into repurposing and recycling and reducing the amount of waste that goes to landfills so um, you've seen the pallets that we've used here on the homestead um, he's, he used those pallets. He used some recycled lumber. Um, some of these tarps are, they're all recycled. This door here is actually from the um, portable garage we used to have that uh, got destroyed by a big windstorm. So he salvaged the tarp, um, the door part for me, and he's got a door. So I'm going to open the door and we're going to take you inside. All right, so we're gonna go inside here and I'll show you what it kind of looks like in here. So, and this is what my garden shed looks like. Again, you see the pallets, those are our walls. And then the tarps, they're the outside walls. And uh, depending on what we get later on, uh, if we get some recycled siding or something like that, that'll go on the outside of these as well. Uh, we have some recycled plywood. Um, yeah, everything in here is recycled. And then I got this plant stand really, really cheap. And this is what I use to uh, hold my um, items for transplanting and, and things, our seedlings um, that we're going to be selling at the market. And also potting up uh, on my jugs for winter sowing. Um, since it's warmer out here now, I'm actually come out here to do it um, because you can see how messy it is. Um, so yeah, so I actually have my container of Happy Frog here. And I usually keep it covered that way the cats don't get in here. Um, but yeah, I, I start um, uh, planting my jugs and everything else in here. And I'll take you inside the greenhouse. That it butts up against and I thought that was really cool that was something that I asked my husband if he could do that way I can just go in and out of the greenhouse um, and it's protected and uh, just makes things a lot easier so here's our greenhouse okay I generally don't use the greenhouse until uh, late April beginning of May here because this is a very very small greenhouse and it does not hold the heat and there's no way to help it hold in the heat because it is so tiny I can't put in the 55 gallon drum barrels 
that are said to help hold the heat that way. Um, <clears throat> trying to put in a uh, uh, ceramic heater is dangerous and it would cost a, 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 a fortune with my electric bill. So we just let the sun radiate the temperature during the day and then at night it just gets cool. As you see we still got tons and tons and tons of jugs out here and as I start transplanting some things out I like these peas over here. I just transplanted these peas Friday. These are some uh, snow peas. I have jugs that I can now use for my beans. So that'll be awesome. I don't plant my beans and my corn until right about now in the jugs because they have a tendency to rot in the cool um, dampness. They don't like cold. They don't like damp. So I wait till it's a bit warmer. So um, I gain some jugs when I start transplanting things out to be able to use to plant the new crops. So that's what's going on here. That was the big old surprise I wanted to show you guys. I just thank you so much for continuing with me on my journey. Uh, please, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up just to let other people know that uh, this video is worth watching. If you want to stay in tune with what's going on on the, on the journey here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to know uh, exactly when I'm uploading. I'm going to be trying to upload things at least once a week, but uh, the schedule on the homestead is quite hectic, so I can't promise you that. I just, uh, again, I just thank you so much for uh, joining me on this journey. And until next time, everybody, have a great and blessed day. Bye.